Welcome back in Alabama this hour. A desperate manhunt is underway after police backtrack and admit the man shot and killed by a police officer at a mall on Thanksgiving night was likely not the same person who shot and wounded two other people moments earlier. It was one of the busiest shopping days of the year when gunshots rang out at the River Chase Galleria near Birmingham, forcing terrified shoppers to run for cover. Police mistakenly thought Amanda Fitzgerald Bradford Jr. fired the rounds that left an 18-year-old and a 12-year-old hospitalized. An officer fatally shot him as he fled the scene. CNN's Natasha Chen is joining us now from Atlanta. Natasha, how did this happen? Well, Anna, that's what friends and family want to know. They gathered at a protest this afternoon at the River Chase Galleria. A family member talked about her last interaction with Amanda Fitzgerald Bradford Jr. or EJ. We were never let this happen. Tell another teenage girl that I don't whatever we would not let this happen again i just spoke to my nephew and zapped him and told him baby you're doing good take care of yourself he said okay auntie okay auntie but i had to look on social media and find my nephew laying in blood protesters also walked through the mall carrying signs and called for people to boycott the shops there the police lie. Say the police lie. The the initial report was that two men had gotten into a fight of some kind at that mall that resulted in an 18-year-old man and a 12-year-old girl being shot. They were both taken to the hospital. Police said Bradford was fleeing the scene and brandishing a weapon, and that's when a Hoover police officer working as mall security shot and killed him. But later, Hoover police issued a statement saying Bradford may have been involved in some aspect of the altercation, but he likely did not fire the rounds that injured the 18-year-old victim. So police say there is at least one gunman still at large. Bradford's family has now retained a lawyer. The lawyer's office released a statement from them saying they are heartbroken. And as we continue to grieve, rest assured that we are working diligently with our legal team to determine exactly what happened and why this police officer killed our son. We will never forget EJ and ask for your continued prayers during this incredibly difficult time. I also talked to a woman who was at the mall when this happened. She said she heard the gunshots and people ran in a panic. She hid in a dressing room with others. She told me she's frustrated at how law enforcement has handled this entire situation. The state agency now in charge of the investigation told me there won't be more information released about this until tomorrow afternoon, Anna. All right, Natasha Chen, thank you for that update. Now, earlier I spoke with CNN law enforcement analyst and former U.S. Marshal Art Roderick. Here's his